Power Vision has developed what we believe is the first true shape-changing fluid-driven intraocular lens. We mimic the eye's natural accommodative mechanism, creating a continuously variable monofocal lens designed for consistent high image quality over the entire range of vision from near to far. I'm going to show you a quick uh, video to give you an idea of how the, the fluid vision lens works. Looks like I might be the audio track today. You guys have the audio for that? Okay, well you can see our lens implanted uh, into the eye through a uh, simple procedure, which is very similar to current uh, surgery. And the way the lens operates is that when the natural eye muscle forces work on the capsule, the fluid moves from the periphery of the lens into the center and back out again. And by doing so, we change the radius of curvature of the interior surface of the lens, creating a, uh, a surface appropriate for uh, near vision and far vision by just simply moving that fluid back and forth. It's a tiny amount of fluid, less than a drop of fluid actually moves from the periphery to the center as the uh, focus of the lens changes in a continuous fashion from near to far. We have excellent clinical outcomes with our device from a prior generation. We implanted well over 100 lenses uh, in eyes outside the United States. We achieved excellent distance vision, near intermediate vision. We demonstrated conclusively that we could produce uh, objective accommodation. We showed stability out to three years, both uh, quantitatively by looking at our results and also qualitatively, you can see an extremely clear capsule in this image, the slit lamp, slit lamp image, all the way out to three years. So I'm pleased to report to, the, to you today on the res, early results from our Fluid Vision 2020 lens, our next generation lens. We have uh, now brought that lens into the clinic. Many, not all of our patients have reached the six month follow up. I'm not going to give you a full data readout today, but try to give you a good snapshot of what we learned in that a pilot experience, which was all very positive. The results show that we can meet our design objective of creating 2020 vision across all distances. Average accommodation was around 75% greater than our prior device, which is a great accomplishment and in line with our expectations, and the surgical procedure is straightforward. Just to give you a few tidbits of data from that study, this is uh, one of our example patients showing a defocus curve. You can see a nice flat and wide defocus curve for this patient over five diopters of defocus. You can see that their near, intermediate, and distance vision is, is excellent, um, uh, as shown in this, uh, in this curve as well. Importantly, we also have uh, focus from the company's start and uh, continue to measure objective accommodation. And you can see this patient's response to an alternating stimulus is one in which we show somewhere between three and four diopters of objectively measured accommodation. So we are currently starting a large uh, multi-center study of our device. The study will take place in several countries outside the US and it will compare our fluid vision lens to other commercially available IOLs. So we have made continuous progress as a company and we continue to move forward uh, all the time. We started out with a four millimeter incision for our device, we moved to a three and a half millimeter incision. We recently introduced, as we said, into the clinic, the fluid vision 2020 lens. We are uh, making great advancement in our move to a 3.2 millimeter incision. We've shown through bench testing that we can easily uh, inject our lens through a smaller incision, and uh, we're going doing the formal validation of that uh, testing right now. We are already making prototypes of a toric version of our accommodating IOL, and we are in the initial stages of working on some future development for post-implant adjustment as a built-in feature of our lens, as well as being able to inject our lens through a 2.8 millimeter incision. Thank you so much for your attention.